So you want to know if Xano is the right backend to use with your AppGyver app. Well, I'm gonna talk about the things that you need to know before you make that decision and help you figure out what are the limitations and benefits so that you can decide on the right backend to use with your app. I'm William Glass, CEO and co-founder of Ostrich and host of Silicon Alley. I've built multiple no-code and low-code apps using AppGyver and other various backends. Today, we are talking about Xano. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get more awesome videos like this that will help you on your no-code and low-code journey. Let's talk about the eight things you need to know when building with Xano. The first thing and positive, which I really like, is that it's easy to integrate with AppGyver. I would not be making this video if it was difficult. I want it to be seamless and a good experience for anyone to build no-code and low-code apps. So easy integration is a number one must-have, and Xano has it. Great tutorials. Their team has put these together, and I'll get into this in the next benefit, but it's super, super simple for anyone that does not know how to code. The second benefit, which I really like and by far is the best experience when building with AppGyver of any tool that I've seen from a backend no code perspective is their onboarding experience. You do not have to know anything about development in order to, to go through and have a successful onboarding experience. They make it super simple. You put in the parameters of your app, what tools you're using, and it walks you through step by step. It is fantastic and gets you from zero to something very, very quickly, which I like and is one of the strongest benefits to using Xano. The third thing that I really like is the built-in authentication with third-party providers. It's super easy to have LinkedIn, Facebook, Google, all these other login credentials set up so that someone creating an account can just log in with one of those features. You do have to obviously go set this up with those services themselves, but in terms of setting up in Xano, it's super simple and one of the best benefits of building authentication through Xano. The fourth thing that I really like is they've got strong tutorials. I would say that they've got some of the best tutorials that I've seen. So if you really don't know how to code or how to integrate AppGyver or anything like that with Xano, they're gonna walk you through. They've got great tutorials on how to actually use the tool, which is fantastic and really important for someone that has no coding experience at all. The fifth thing that I really like about Xano is they've got hands-on support. If you read any of their reviews or comments on the AppGyver forums, whenever you get stuck, they're very accessible, which is fantastic and uh, a great benefit, especially if you do not know what you're doing, because you will get stuck at some point. Even the most experienced software engineers, when they're building something, get stuck, it's natural. So when you have someone that you can lean on and get quick um, answers to your questions, the better experience you're gonna have and the quicker you're gonna be able to build the app that you have in mind. Now, the first downside to Xano is that you're gonna hit a paywall pretty quickly. They have a, a simple to use tool, you don't need to know how to code to really get started. I would say it's the most approachable backend no code tool that I've seen in conjunction with AppGyver. So if you truly have no experience and you need hand holding in a walkthrough, then that's a great thing about Xano, but you are going to hit a paywall and they are a little bit more expensive than some of the other providers out there. So just be cognizant of that. And that can be a drawback if you're trying to build on a super frugal budget. If you've got a little bit of, of money to build, then this shouldn't be a problem, but it is something to be aware of that you are gonna hit a paywall pretty quickly. The second downside is that you're not able to do push notifications directly in Xano. Now they do allow you to do notifications so you can do email and text. So if push notifications aren't important in your app, then this doesn't matter. But I would say for a lot of applications, this is an important feature. It's one of the ways that you keep people coming back and engaged and notify them when important things happen. So that is something to be aware of is that you're not gonna have push notifications built into Xano. The third drawback to Xano is that it's limited in terms of the functionality that it has today. It's a newer player into the space. They've done a great job from an experience perspective. I think it's the most approachable from a no code experience. But because it's newer, they just don't have as much that you can do and the tool's not fully built out yet. So I'm sure they're working on the features and they've got a lot of things on their roadmap. But if you're trying to build really complex, robust applications, Xano may not be the tool for you in that regard until they continue to build out some of the functionality that you would anticipate having in a backend platform. That being said, it is more robust and a better backend tool than say an Airtable, which again, I've talked about using that more as a content management type tool. 
when you look at it compared to a Firebase or a backendless, Xano falls short on some of the features and functions that you would anticipate having. The core stuff they have around databases, authentication, being able to do some level of notifications. So they've got some really good things that if you're just trying to build a basic application, it's gonna be fine from a backend perspective. All right, so those are the eight things that you need to know before using Xano as your backend tool with AppGyver. Before I get into my recommendation, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and please drop a comment on what you're working on or any questions that you have. I love answering those, as well as any video suggestions. So my recommendation for anyone considering Xano is that if you truly do not know how to code and you've looked at backend lists, you've looked at Firebase, you've looked at these other tools and they're a little overwhelming, then Xano is the one for you. If you've got a little bit of money to play around with that you're willing to invest in your project, Xano is gonna be a good choice. But if you've got a little bit of understanding of technical knowledge, or even just you've used AppGyver enough where you start to understand how things work, then there might be better tools for you out there, such as Backendless. Again, this is gonna depend on your comfort level, how quickly you want to get things spun up, and then how important really hands-on support is, because that's the other benefit of Xano is that really strong hands-on support. So. That's my recommendation. Think through those things and what's gonna be important to you as the developer, as the creator of this app, how much money you have and how quickly you wanna get it spun up. Thank you so much. I'm William Glass, CEO and co-founder of Ostrich and host of Silicon Alley. I've built multiple no-code and low-code apps. Ostrich is one of those that I initially built. We've now brought on a technical team that has built out a more robust application, but initially the first version, the proof of concept was built using AppGyver and uh, it helps people achieve their financial goals. We put people in social challenges based on life milestones. It's free, and uh, I would love it if you went and checked us out. Thank you so much. Again, any questions, comments, please drop them down below. We'd love to answer those. Have a wonderful time building. Are you interested in growing and scaling your business? Welcome to the Silicon Alley Podcast, where you'll hear from entrepreneurs, venture capitalists, and top performers on what it truly takes to grow and scale a business. You'll walk away with actionable insights you can apply in your own business and life.